Welcome to the DLD Europe here uh, conference here at the Bavarian representat representation to the European Union in Brussels. This is our third edition of DLD Europe. Please allow me firstly to cast a quick look back to the 2016 to explain why we started DLD here in Brussels. Remember, in 2016, the EU had reached an unprecedented mode of dissonance, the EU euro crisis and the rising debt in quite a few member states, rising nationalism, mistrust, in the media and the democratic tendencies, youth employment and the height of sheer unstoppable mass migration and of course Brexit. We were faced with the loosening of the important transatlantic ties which already started under the Obama administration, the so-called pivot to the east. These ties certainly haven't strengthened over the last one and a half, uh, half years. China's growing influence on the world stage was starting to become even more tangible. And we were, and still are, faced with the ever-growing economic power of tech companies in the US, who are ruling quasi-monopolies over large spaces of the digital business sphere. Who of you is from a tech company? Look at them. So, better, better watch, watch out what's going on. Plus, we saw the rise of the Chinese internet giants, which are more or less government-run businesses and not products of a free and fair market. China remains, of course, the elephant in the room. We will see this later today. So, what does DLD have to do with all of this? Firstly, DLD is a Bavarian, Mr. Eisen, Minister Eisenreich, a Bavarian, a German, and a European company. And we still believe in the European Union, in the vision of a united Europe and the economic and political strengths of our united continent, despite all ongoing discord. Secondly, DLD stands for digital life design and since 13 years explores the one key question. Who knows it? What question do we explore? Who is a DLD the community member? Oh, you're so shy. Of course, we, we explore how is digitalization changing our world? This important question. To many of the phenomena just described, the digital revolution and its boundless disruptive power is the baseline that plays in the background. The baseline that plays in the background. DLD has long understood and evangelized that digitalization plays a vital role in the future of our world. To us, it's the crucial link we are aiming to provide here with DLD Europe. And it's my strong belief that digital technologies play an integral part in solving issues, locally as well as globally. Here are a few examples. Yes, digital communications platforms can help to secure freedom of speech and citizen engagement instead of spreading hate and disinformation. But, but we have to set the rules. Yes, in the face of accelerating automation and robotics, online education can provide urgently needed special training to people who are untrained or don't have access to schools. But we have to provide stable access to the internet for everyone. Digital technologies can enhance public services, healthcare, farming, medicine, or mobility, and so on. They have the potential to save money and time and make the world a better place. But, but we have to ensure they are secure, available, well-regulated, and easy to use for everyone. So we all understand that digitalization is paving the way to future economic prosperity. Machine learning, robotics, the industrial internet, blockchain, the consumer internet, quantum computing. All these digital-driven technologies have huge innovation and business potential. But let me repeat, we have to ensure that we have the knowledge, the legal framework, and the investment power to tap this potential. There are some big questions that I would like to raise in this context. What is the right way 
to ensure a safe and prosperous future in Europe. Do, need we, do we need more European integration or less? More regulation or less? How can democratic decision making keep up with rapidly developing technologies without, without constantly fighting yesterday's battles? And how can we, the citizens and the entrepreneurs of the European Union, help uphold and ensure European ex excellency? Which support do we need from policymakers? Which areas need to be deregulated? Is it wise to enter a race with the US and China at all levels of the digital economy? Or should we focus on strategic united projects that will have a broader economic and societal impact? Do we in Europe want to be creators of the next technology and business revolutions? Or are we already condemned to be the continent of mere consumers in the digital sphere? Following the advice of a policy paper to the European Commission of a London-based economist, Professor Mariana Mazzucato, we think Europe needs to define missions to engage institutions. Missions to engage institutions, politicians, and companies to work <coughs> on a common goal, on a common goal. Like for an example, conquering the moon was one of the key missions in the USA in the 60s and developed a huge economic uprise drive. Our mission today is to give the European again a positive, optimistic boost. Please clap. <laughs> A positive and an optimistic boost, this is what Europe needs. We aim to provide an open platform for debate and conversation, to connect thought leaders, decision makers, and disruptors in an interdisciplinary way, and connect you. You are the doers and the shakers. Let's find a ways to steer economic growth as well as the policy agenda of a united Europe with a digital agenda in mind. Let's define and create European missions, European moonshots here today. Let's take risks and aim for success. Let's make failures, dare to make failures. I believe we will be discussing some important missions here today. Let me give you a quick run through of today's agenda to give you a feeling for the diverse moonshot possibilities we'll be touching on. We were starting off with the status quo of the European digital economy. It is important to see where we stand in the global market and what the critical issues are. We will hear then four different perspectives from a digital think tank, a business leader, a policy advisor, and an entrepreneur. Next up, I have to announce a small change to what you see in your printed agenda. Since Diana Kinnert and Sabine leuthauser schnarrenberger unfortunately dropped out of the program, program yesterday, we have decided from, to form the two sessions Boosting European Excel Excellence and Freedom of the Internet into one. We are spontaneous and think it makes sense. They both address highly irrelevant and interconnecting topics of our time, for citizens and entrepreneurs alike. A political leader, an investor, and a business executive will give their views on how to boost Europe and preserve digital freedom at the same time. After lunch break comes the important topic of cybersecurity. I'm convinced this is only the beginning of the many, many levels on which cybersecurity will affect us in this century. Gabi Dreo. Taking into the consideration the necessary lateral view of our world, I'm proud to welcome one of the most important architects of our time to the DLD stage, who in collaboration with other creatives is brainstorming ways for Europe to better present itself, to have a new branding. And Rem Kohlhaas, I think he's coming this afternoon, is a true visionary. Two afternoon sessions will take an in-depth view into the question whether Europe has lost the race in the field of AI. We have with us Paul Doherty from Accenture, who wrote an amazing book. You will hear it later. He's a cool guy. And are we regressing 
into an entertainment park or an incubator for investors from outside Europa, Europe. Are we regressing, think of this, are we regressing into an entertainment park or, or an incubator for investors from outside of Europe? We will hear voices from industry leaders, entrepreneurs, policymakers, and strategists. The Chinese elephant in the room will certainly play a big role here. To reconquer our world in the world, we need strong political leadership. I'm proud to be able to welcome two European commissioners to the DLD stage this afternoon. Commissioner Jourova will give us an update on privacy and smart regulation. Commissioner Oettinger will let us know how the budget is best allocated to attain the mentioned moonshots and give us an update on the impact of Brexit. We will close the day with sea level insights from business leaders in two industries that have undergone major disruptions, and still they still are, the banking sector and the media industry. <laughs> so let's see where this day's journey will lead us all. I wish you inspiring insights, debates, and unexpected connections. I wish you open hearts and open minds. Go speak to each other, connect to each other. It's so important. It's not a consuming conference. It's an interaction conference. You have to talk to each other. But before I introduce you to our first speaker, let me express my gratitude to the DLD team who set it all up. Let me mention especially Heiko Schlott and Alex Schiel, who have been the creators of this program. I'm very happy that, that you're part of the DLD team and we work together. <laughs> and now, allow me to call onto the stage our host, the Hausherr, here at the Bavarian representation. Georg Eisenreich, Bavarian State Minister for the Digital Agenda, Media in Europe. Come on stage. Dear Steffi Czerny, Dear Mr. Cullen, ladies and gentlemen, welcome in the representation of Bavaria in Brussels, welcome in this building uh, that we are proud to have here in Brussels, near to the parliament. I'm very pleased uh, to have the DLD conference as our guest. For many people all over the world, um, the DLD conferences are an inspiration. At a DLD conference, uh, you take a break from your everyday work and you come to exchange um, ideas across usual boundaries and you get insight into the future of the digital world. <clears throat> DLD Europe is one of Europe's most influential innovation communities. It brings together the who is who in economy, technology, politics and culture. Bavaria is proud to be the home of DLD Munich and Bavaria is proud to be uh, the host of Deal Europe in Brussels today. The digital transformation brings essential challenges. They concern the future of the media and the way we communicate, our economy and the way we work, our society and the way we live, freedom, democracy, security and peace. We Europeans must face these challenges with optimism. You are right, Steffi Czerny. We want to make sure that the people will benefit from digital transformation. We can shape our future and we are willing to shape our future and we have no time to lose. Digital transformation is a challenge that needs to be tackled at all levels the region level, the national level, and the European level. Let me first tell you how we tackle digital challenges in Bavaria. Bavaria is determined to take the opportunities of digital transformation. That's why we launched major programs. We will invest 6 billion euros until 2022. 2.5 billion in infrastructure, 
and we invest another 3.5 billion in key technologies, artificial intelligence, robotics and machine learning, visual, virtual reality, blockchain, 3D printing, deep tech, super, and quantum computing. We also invest in the field of education, of cybersecurity, digital medicine, e-government, and mobility. But it's not enough to invest a lot of money. We politicians, like uh, managers, must also adapt our mindset. The digital agenda has to become top management priority in politics and in business. Strategic coordination of all activities is very important too. Therefore, in Bavaria, we create a new hub for digital transformation. There we will develop our digital strategy and coordinate the government's activities. We must also be aware of the risk of digital in transformation. Our focus is not technology for technology's sake. Our focus are the individual citizens and our values. Democracy, individual rights, and our social responsibility. We want to preserve these values in the digital world. And I'm sure that this conviction will be pay off at, in the end. In Bavaria, we are in a strong starting position. The digital transformation will increasingly concern industrial applications. There's a great opportunity for Bavaria with our world-class know-how in engineering. Bavaria is a leader in industrial products. We have perfect conditions to be the top location for Industry 4.0 and the Internet of Things. The digital transformation brings fundamental challenges in our economy. If we want to stay competitive and preserve our wealth in Europe, we must act and we must act together. <clears throat> we need fair conditions in global competition. Compared to the internet giants, our European businesses are disadvantaged in taxation and regulation. We want a level playing field. We want effective regulation. We need a common European digital market. We need adequate and intelligent taxation in the digital economy. We want digital privacy according to our values. We want our citizens to decide for themselves what happens to all the data. We are against monopolies in the media. We want many players on the market. We want to preserve our liberal society and our democracy. For all this, we need a consensus for new common rules. And we need them fast. The aim must be a common European digital agenda. So far, only small steps have been made. The EU has agreed on basic rules for audiovisual media services, including digital platforms. <clears throat> the reform of copyright rules is still being discussed. To my mind, all the digital world copyright needs to be respected. Data protection is important, but uh, European e-privacy rules should not make it impossible for content providers to be competitive. We have to move forward if we want our European industry, media industry, to remain strong. Europe must act together. We need effective regulation. However, Europe should, uh, should not focus too much on detailed regulation that can be better implemented, um, better implemented uh, on the national and regional level. Europe should, should instead concentrate on crucial issues, for example, the digital market or the whole digital agenda. We can achieve our good common solution for our citizens and our businesses. We should actively shape the digital, digital transformation. Together, we Europeans can achieve a lot with our know-how, with our talents and our European values. 
Let us be bold, let us be fast, and let us start. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Steffi Czerny, for bringing again together the fascinating people. I'm looking forward to the next hours here in Brussels. I wish you inspiring input, new ideas, new contacts, and enjoy the day in our representation in Brussels. Thank you very much.